Grade 3 math number 64, equal parts and equal groups. This is the beginning of discussion of fractions. I want you to take a look at these drawings here. In these drawings, which one has equal parts? This one or this one? Well, this one was cut so just a little piece was down below, and this one was a real big piece on top. If that was a cookie, would you say that the two people would get equal shares? No. Somebody would get a big piece and somebody would get a little piece. To be fair, you'd have to cut the cookie directly down the center to two equal parts, like that. Look at this Valentine heart. If this was a cookie, which one would you say would be an equal share for both people? This one or this one? Well, this one's got a big, huge hump on this side, so that piece of the cookie might be bigger. But it's not equally split, is it? This one is. Each person would get a half. One side would be a half. What if this was a long candy bar and you cut it so that you could each get an equal share? That's not an equal share. But if you cut it right here in the middle, then each person would get half and it would be an equal share. Okay? This is how you write half. You write a 1 with the line and then a 2 underneath it. The 1 on top tells how many times it was cut, and the bottom number tells how many pieces there are all together. Cut in half means cut into two equal parts. That's how you write half. Let's look at this drawing. What if this was a candy bar? Would everyone get an equal share? Actually, they would, because there's three triangles that are splitting it into equal parts. we got one, two, three. There's three parts all together. And if you ate one of these pieces, you would eat one-third. It's like this. One-third. That means you would eat one part. If you ate two of the parts, you would eat two-thirds. And it would be like this, a two over the three, because that means you got two parts of the three. Well, guess what? If you ate all three parts, you would eat three-thirds And three-thirds is equal to the whole thing. See? When the number on the top and the bottom are the same, it's equal to the whole thing. Let's look at this shape here. How many pieces are there? One, two, three, four, five, six. If this was a big pizza or a cake, and it was split like this, everybody would get an equal share. You could have six people getting an equal share. And if you ate one of the pieces, you would eat one of the six pieces, or one sixth. See how we put the TH at the end? If you ate two of the pieces, you would eat two sixths. See? That means you're eating two of them. And you could have three six, four six, five six, and six six. And if you ate six of the six pieces, then you would have eaten the whole cake. Let's look at this one. We've got one part and two parts. If this was a piece of chocolate candy and it was cut down the middle, each person would get an equal share. If you ate one piece, you would eat one of the two pieces. See? Let's look at this. How many circles have a pink square? Just one of them. How many circles are there? One, two, three. There's three circles. One has a pink square of the three circles. One third of these has a pink square. The numerator is how many have a pink square. You draw a line and the denominator is how many circles there are in total. The top is the numerator, and the bottom is the denominator. See that? And this line splits it down the middle. 
so that you split the numerator from the denominator. So those are equal parts and equal groups. We're going to be talking about fractions coming up. And fractions are kind of cool because they show you how you can share things. See you next video.